Hey all, it's Stacy. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're making something a little different. We're gonna put a little Southern twist on something that's already classically Southern. This is my pimento cheese cornbread. Now, to start, I've got a cup and a half of plain cornmeal. Now, it's not cornmeal mix and it's not self-rising cornmeal, just plain cornmeal. I chose yellow, you could use yellow or white for this. To it, I'm going to add a half a cup of plain all-purpose flour, got about a tablespoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, and I know I'm gonna hear from this, but this is a tablespoon of sugar. Yes, I'm adding a tablespoon of sugar to my cornbread. Y'all, I'm as Southern as a bold peanut, but trust me when I tell you this adds a little bit to it. And this is actually based on my wife's grandfather's recipe, Elmer. Elmer was from Mellow Valley, Alabama, and it doesn't get much more Southern than that. So you don't have to put it in there, but I promise it does make a difference. I've got that stirred together just a little bit. To it, I'm going to add one egg that I've lightly beaten, a tablespoon of mayonnaise, got a cup of whole buttermilk, and about a half a cup of water. I'm just gonna stir this all together. Next to me here, I've got one eight ounce package of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. Now, the stuff that you buy in the grocery store that's already shredded is gonna work perfectly fine in this recipe. And I've got about a four ounce jar of diced pimentos that I've drained really well. I'm gonna add most of both of these to our batter here, but I'm gonna reserve just a little bit of it to go on the top of our cornbread. Stir this together. In my oven, I've got it preheated to 425 degrees. Now, the important thing about making cornbread is to make sure that you've got your skillet preheated because having a hot skillet is gonna give us that nice, dark, golden brown crust that we want and that crunch. So I've got one here. I put about two teaspoons of vegetable oil in my skillet and I placed it in the oven while the oven preheated. I'm gonna pour our batter right in here you can hear and see that sizzle. That's what we want. We wanna make sure that our skillet is nice and hot. I'm going to sprinkle this right on the top, our leftover cheese, our leftover pimentos right on the top. This is gonna go back in our oven, again, at 425 degrees for about 30 minutes or until it's nice and golden brown. Got one in here finishing it up. This one's a little, a little browner than I normally like it, but I think it's still gonna be delicious. Y'all, you can find this recipe and tons more on my website at southernbite.com. Just visit the Simply Southern section. Y'all enjoy. You know, Mary, I wonder if there's anything that Stacy hasn't tried putting pimento cheese in. I mean, I know he's already done cornbread, biscuits, fritters, pimento cheese bites, even did scallop potatoes with pimento cheese. Well. He could even put it in a cake. I trust Stacy because everything he creates is delicious. Now be sure to look this recipe up at southernbite.com because Stacy has added several tips to make sure your pimento cheese cornbread comes out just right. Thanks to all of you for tuning in today, but it's time for us to wrap this show up. I hope you'll be back with us next week when we'll put to sea out of Mobile for a murder mystery that's as fun as it is suspenseful. And you'll meet some young people who are honing their equestrian skills in the show ring. I'm Mary Wilson. And I'm Kevin Worthington. We'll see you then. Simply Southern is produced by the Alabama Farmers Federation and made possible with the support of Alabama Farmers Cooperative and these sponsors.